Within the UK sector of the North Sea and Irish Sea, there are large concentrations of oil and gas structures and associated activities taking place. There are approximately 27,000 kilometers of pipeline, 1,200 surface and subsea structures, 200 dangerous pipeline spans, and 160 square kilometers of safety zones. Entering safety zones is prohibited, although fishing is not restricted around structures outside of these zones. However, it can be extremely dangerous. This modern trawler is fishing with a twin rig gear. The gear is towed along the seabed with trawl doors around 120 meters apart and a total length of gear stretching up to 500 meters from the stern of the vessel. The headline height of the net may be 3 to 4 meters above the seabed. The fishing gear approaches and narrowly misses a suspended wellhead. These are wellheads that are not currently in production and have been suspended awaiting further intervention. There are 200 suspended wellheads in the North Sea and they are effectively immovable structures, fixed to the seabed and 4 meters high. They may be taller than a London bus. The network of pipelines connecting infrastructure and taking oil and gas to shore vary in size. They may be up to 1 meter in diameter. Some are buried or laid in a trench, others are surface laid. Rock may be used to cover sections of pipeline. It may not always be possible for fishing gear to cross pipelines safely. Dangerous pipeline spans, where there is a large gap between the pipeline and the seabed, increase the risk of a trawl door becoming snagged under the pipeline. If this occurs, it may be difficult to recover fishing gear. In the past, this type of scenario has contributed to fishing vessels capsizing and sinking, with the loss of all fishermen on board. Large anchors hold many oil and gas floating or semi-submersible infrastructure in place, including drilling rigs and floating installations. Stervpree-style drag anchors, as shown here, penetrate the seabed and, depending on type, may weigh in the region of 15 tons. Suction anchors may also be used, which are large hollow steel tubes driven into the seabed but may stick up 2 meters from the seabed. Some anchor lines and anchors may extend up to 2,000 meters from the installation, many hundreds of meters outside of a 500-meter safety zone. For more information, please contact Kingfisher or visit the websites shown on screen.